Hello everybody and welcome to Engineer Maze. In today's lecture we are going to make a half wave rectifier by using Proteus 8 Professional Circuit Simulator. You can use any circuit simulator for example Multisim, Diptress, P-Spice, uh, many are available on internet online, they are free, you can choose any. Now the description of half wave rectifier is given on the on the website in the theoretical lecture and you can go and go through that and understand that what and how uh, does a half wave rectifier do for this uh, simulation and building a half wave rectifier we need component and for component we will go to the left uh, to the left of the proteus and you can see there are many menus there they are available we will choose the second one that is the component list I have already chosen a voltage source, a resistor and a diode. You can add any component from the library to your list. For example, if I want to add a diode, I will simply click on this P and type a diode in the search. I will type a diode and the, the diode will appear there. You can choose any type of diode, many types available like Zener, Vericap, Tunnel Diode and you can choose any manufacturer. Just simply select the diode. I, I am using a generic diode for, for this circuit. Uh, just click on the diode and enter you can see that uh, by clicking on the sheet the diode will appear you can drag it all over the sheet and can place it anywhere you want I am placing it there with the name diode D1 and then by selecting the resistor from my component list I will just select it and add it in the schematic and the voltage source also so you can just simply select and add all the components you need in your circuit now the second thing is uh, wiring of the circuit you can uh, al align your or, or you can change the orientation of your component accordingly uh, it is uh, as easy as you want for example if I want to make this resistor shown uh, vertically upward I will just simply click on it the menu will appear with now you can see that there are rotate clockwise, rotate anti-clockwise options and I will only choose rotate clockwise and it will show on vertically upside down and now for uh, wiring purpose you will you have to just press W alphabetical al alphabetic key and just select the one end of the component and drag it to the one end of the other component and just click on it and the two components are joined together in similar way you can join all the components together like this and through this to the resistor now the circuit is almost complete we just need a ground we will go to the left of the proteus and there is a terminal mode panel just click on it and the ground is available there just select it bring it to the schematic and just wire it up with the circuit the last thing we want to set is attributes uh, of the voltage signal just double click on it and the attributes will be appeared on the screen just choose the amplitude whatever amplitude you want I am choosing 5 volt for this circuit and a frequency of 50 Hertz you can choose any frequency whatever you want now if you want to show these uh, attributes just click on this drop down menu show and select show all and this will be shown on the right side of the sinusoidal voltage source if we want to observe our signal we will just go to the left panel and there is the measuring instrument menu just click on it and the oscilloscope is there just select it and drop it in, into your screen and just wire it the oscilloscope in Proteus does not need to be grounded it assumes the ground itself now to run any simulation in the Proteus on the left bottom side of the sheet we have a play pause button menu just simply click on the first button and the circuit will start simulating itself here the circuit is simulated and there is the window of the digital oscilloscope now we have to make a little bit adjustment to see whether we are acquiring the appropriate output signal or not we will increase the amplitude and a bit setting of the time interval and you can see that there the output is shown signal in the yellow color we have attached the A channel to the output of the our circuit so the yellow signal is our output signal now you can see it is rectified there is no negative part in the signal only the positive 
part of the input signal are shown so this is the half wave rectified signal in this manner you can build any circuit in a and simulate it in the proteus a much more complex circuit can be built i hope that you will learn a lot from this video and do comment and suggest something for our website and our video thank you